Two people are in the Shawnee County Jail this morning for shooting a man in a Topeka Park. 23-year-old Malik Yates and 28-year-old Joshua Valdiva were arrested for attempted second-degree murder, among other charges. Police say the two shot 29-year-old Tony Dennis at Ripley Park in southeast Topeka Tuesday night. He was taken to a local hospital and is still in critical condition. The police department says it will be boosting their efforts to fight gang-related crime after the recent shootings. But some Topeka residents are worried for their safety. Shooting has been happening over there. There's a park right there and shooting happened the other night. That's too close to all these kids that live around here. And the answer if somebody, if I'm moving, yeah, I, I am moving. Meanwhile, Topeka police continue to search this morning for a suspect in another shooting that sent two people to the hospital. This man, 19-year-old Jesse Hughes, is a person of interest in the case. Police believe he was involved in the shooting at the Carriage House Apartments Tuesday. Police were called to the apartments just west of the Walmart on 37th Street after 5.30 in the evening. The two men who were shot are expected to survive. The Topeka Police Chief has put together an organized crime and gang unit to put a stop to gang and drug related shootings. Chief James Brown says the department will move resources around to increase the unit size. Brown says gang activity has lowered since cracking down in Highcrest last summer. You know, the officers did a really good job last year during Highcrest, and, and we put a kibosh on, on, on that activity, and we saw a huge uh, decrease in violent crimes in Highcrest uh, up to this point. But with the uh, unseasonably warm weather and uh, school now being let out, we've noticed an increase in violent crime. Brown also says the department will work relentlessly to find those who hurt Topeka citizens.